So my first presentation here at uh, SMOGI in Barcelona is about the, let's say, value of sightedness uh, and outcome in colorectal cancer. You know, there's been the significant discussions about the prognostic and potential predictive role of right versus left-sided location of colon cancers with the idea that left-sided tumors do better and they're more likely to respond to EGF subtype antibodies like cetuximab and panitumab versus uh, right-sided tumors which do not appear to respond to panitumab and cetuximab even if we have a RAS and BRAF wild type tumor. And this is interesting because we look at the same data from a US perspective and a European perspective, Japanese perspective. So I'm a member of a guidelines committee in the United States, in Europe and Japan. So, and I see the discussions that we have and we do come to different conclusions. So my uh, title of my talk is actually, what's the truth? And if I had to look at it from an unbiased perspective as much as I can, being a German, raised in Germany, trained in Germany, but living in the United States, um, I believe that okay, for the first line treatment, right sided tumors, even if they're RAS and BRAF wild type, they should not receive EGF subtype antibodies. Whereas in left sided tumors, I think the data are strong enough to say that EGF subtype antibodies should be the default biologic to treat patients in first line colorectal cancer. I do not think at this point in time that in the later line setting, right sided tumors should never be treated with EGF subtype antibodies, which is something that's being discussed right now in the United States. So I have a divergent kind of semi-European opinion about this. So I believe that we have another tool at hand to select patients for treatments with EGF subtype antibodies. Right and left sided tumors go beyond what we know from RAS and BRAF wild type tumors. The key message is, you know, look at guidelines, look at the sightedness data in conjunction with the, with the mutational analysis that we're doing, BRAF and RAS mutation, right-sided tumors, even if they are RAS and BRAF wild type, no first-line treatment with EGF septic antibodies, left-sided tumors, that's the default. But in later lines of therapy, I think it's a free game, and we should reconsider the use of EGF septic antibodies.